All right, we made it. If you need to, anything you want to see, I'll uh, go over pretty much everything that's here for today on Friday. It looks like everything that's inside, there's like it's pretty much here. So let me start looking. Two plus two. Oh, that room. from bumpers. And the color. Or the duck wing. Yeah, for sure, everyone should be able to enjoy. Dang, needs two hood struts. I always like the stock blue. <coughs> and white obviously has a special place. You know, my first hero was silver. But I'm not a big silver fan. I really like the white. But the blue is also very nice. Oh man, what a beaut. I want T top so bad. The paint will never be that good.
That's crazy. The Rambler. A Rattler. My bad. I'm sorry. LS with a T-top card. Good God. Oh, what it looks like stock brakes? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no crap. And it's a T-top car. That's, that's badass. Oh man, I've seen pictures of this thing. This is goals as fuck. How the fuck do you fit that motor in there? That's crazy. <laughs> Like, like a big tank or something. Yeah, I think it's their fuel tank because it's uh, um, they're the like pace cars, or like the like the PG or something like that, or pace cars. Or, yeah, pace cars. I like the front bumpers on them. Yeah, they got uh, fuel tanks up in the front. I think that's what I would think that is. Because it just sits down in there into the wheel well where that would have been. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read the comments here. Yeah, I know, I've never, I've seen the 2 plus 2 before. I actually, I feel like I've never seen any of these. I really like the front bumpers on these. And the um, the back ends, like these spoilers, like the duckbill spoilers. I thought about putting one on my Fiero, like making one, because I really like the look of them. Um, I know I've seen the IMSA. I could be saying these wrong. I'm not a professional. That guy. Jesus Christ. The Indian interior. That's what I'm talking about. Is that one of Alex's steering wheels? Oh, he did shift knob too? Yeah, he did both. Get it. 
yeah, I was driving up today and like I like took my hand off the stream, like I put it out the window and like I like looked at my hand and it looked like there was like chocolate on my hand. I'm like, what oh, the you hell? Started oozing? Yeah, it started oozing. It took me a while to figure out what it was. I was like, did I get crap on my hand or something? <laughs> Literally. <yeah. laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, it took me a while because I've took one of the steering wheels apart before yeah. and I've seen that it was like that as a baller pitcher. Yeah, that's before I did. That's when I was late teens. And that was coming back. That was a photo of Rob. Coming back in the uh, 30s. And he was hanging out the window. <laughs> so, I feel like I like these wheels better. I love that. The setup I had, I love too. But, you know, that was probably the coolest shot Rob got of me. You can't beat moving shots. No, and that was perfect. And my wife had that blown up and stuff and framed for me. Could you shine it a little bit more, man? This is insane. Original paint, too. That's so crazy. My, my buddy spent, spent a whole day on it. He runs his own detail shop. Came out to the house. I paid him to had him buff the whole thing out and then ceramic. I've never seen these guys before. So, I figured if I can keep the original paint looking as good as I could, <laughs> that's the main thing. For, until I get up the money to paint it. Yeah. I mean, for stock paint, it looks good. Are any of the panels replaced? Yeah. Or for, painted? Uh, the, the, nose, the nose cone is going to be I replaced that because I got that's a brand new nose cone. Because mm -hmm. it was, I had a, some had scuffed up the original one really bad, so it was easier to put a new one on. That's the only p panel. Oh, wait, in the center. I got back to the original Dell and they cracked the original fender. I kept the original fender, had a big band aid on it. It's up in my loft. So, but yeah, this is. What the heck is Dale. that thing? What's that? What is this thing? Flip it open. It's a, open it up. You know, you can pull it. Oh, what That's the, one of the heck? That's the GM made. That's a weird way to open. That's crazy. That's on my agenda. That's so Those are weird. Photos I got from a gentleman that, that he took himself back in the day. Is that a Fiero car show then? Yeah, it's one of the originals over at the plant by the plant. Do then doesn't do these still exist? Not that car. That car got destroyed. Oh, was it one of the ones that GM owned? Yeah, these are GM ones. That's the what the form. heck that's, is that? That's thing? the two plus. That's the two plus two here, if the, in the original form, before they changed it. It looks way better in that form. <laughs> I'm not a big fan on that one. Is that like a window back there? Yeah. That's weird. Wrapped up. It has like a wrap around. Yeah, because I'm sure they're replacing that one. Oh yeah, you can really see it. That's a. That's real weird. <laughs> just a small portion of my, my wife put together for me before we left. Just yeah, I brought I, I brought my Fero collectibles so I can... I just told the wife, I said, just a few, just, I'm only bringing a couple of things. And she's <laughs> start putting this together, start putting some of this stuff in little frames. You know, this came off the machinery in the plant. That's pretty cool. You know, and then she... I saw that one guy got like a trash can out of one of the yeah. things. That'd be cool to get it. And then like the Hall and Oates frame fit, uh, in the corner. That's the actual album. Oh. The vinyl album that was released. I don't even know if I've ever listened to Hall and Oates. Do they sing anything they good? Oh, you'd hear it. It's probably not. It's like probably something heard. I've heard. You've Just probably right heard over the time. You know, that's off their big bamboo tour. That was always my favorite pick. I ha I got that just because I love the stuff that IMSA Light. I mean, Light. it's, you gotta. I got the mini, I got the IMSA Light. So that, that was always my goal. The, the base Mc... version? Yeah, pretty much. That was my goal back then, to have Paul McKibben remake my uh, Fero GT on the deck lid. It says Fero... Parking lot? Is that an Aldino, or is what is that? I haven't seen it. Because I, I thought it was an Aldino, but it says something all over it. I oh, can't... The, you mean the white one? Pearl white? Yeah. Well, that one's a... Uh, 
It looks oh, like an albino. That's Dave Fagwell, who's on, on the Feral Group. He's friends with uh, Big Turd. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, the, that's the Predator. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's all over it. Yeah. yeah I know. It looks like an albino, except for the back end's a little yeah. bit different. Oh, that's a Predator. That, that cutout was in that engineering book that I bought. That's in the cup. Oh, it was sitting in it? It was slid into it. That's crazy. Opened it up and that fell out. Just that 1986. Yep, yeah, that came from an. G is only like, what is that, like two years into production? Yep. And he stepped down. Moved on to Saturn. What a loser. What's that? What a loser. <laughs> Uh, even though, look at, look at even what? though the joke it for me and my buddy is Saturns are the real race cars. I suppose I should probably put these in. Hey Rob, we'll split it halfway. Good, just plain security. <laughs> Market meters sort of switching off and stuff. Is this like a display they had? What's that? Is this like a display they had? This is the dealership's Adam. That came with the hammer. What? So that was there. People would go up and smack it and test that the. Yeah, you can. Huh. I've got another. I've got two of these at home. I didn't. I forgot I had one, and I bought another one on eBay. That's pretty cool. And that hung in the plant. That came out of the assembly plant. I just got that two weeks ago. There's a couple of these around the plant, but this is one it's of so them. cool. It's, it was pretty. And some of the jackets, some of a few of the jackets that I had, like suspenders, these came out of the, of the Hero store that was in the plant for the employees. The jacket, the shirt. That's you pretty cool. That, you know, Man, I wish I would have been old enough to work at the freaking plant. Well, you know, the red pilot car Fred has over there with the 90, the, the different dash in it. It's way over the front, the red fastback that's oh. on the front. That has the 1989-90 dash cluster and, and everything in it. I didn't even that's notice a, it. It's a pilot car. It's an, er, one of the 31 pilot cars. If you look in there, and there's a, there's a jacket hanging. It was one that's a proving grounds jacket hanging in there. That's out of my collection. I gave, brought it here to give it uh, so Frank can display with it because that's one of the, one of the people that were, were, was working on that program pilot car program. Dude, I like the freaking front bumpers on those PPB or the PPG right. pace cars. Oh, yeah. Those front bumpers are sweet. Yeah. Then I scored another brand new Tyco Fuero slot car. You want a guy's like that? Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen Mark in a recently? He went to, him and his wife went to lunch. Oh. Or went to dinner, I should say. Okay, because this gentleman needs to get his car inside. Okay. But, yeah, Mark's at so out here or dinner? No idea. He just, him and his wife went to grab something to eat. So they'll be, I don't know, uh, it'll be a bit. I think they left 15, 20 minutes ago. Okay, so if it sits in front of the door there, will anyone complain? I, there shouldn't be. Okay. <laughs> uh, I got an 86-year okay. had a 3.8 in it. Boy, that's a good engine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we took my son back and forth to the Penn State University and that thing with a loaded car up the window, mm -hmm. 34 miles a gallon. Oh, yeah. Couldn't believe it. I'm really digging blue. <laughs> Too bad I won't be painting my car. Uh, your car has a, has a unique style. Well, I mean, I don't know. I just don't want to. I'm trying to plan things out on it, so that way I'm not redoing my work. Because mm -hmm. the end goal is like a custom white body, and then it's gonna be once once all my body work's done, I'm gonna pull off one offs in carbon fiber. Okay. So it's gonna be I'm gonna go crazy with the carbon fiber. I want to try to make the car as light as possible. So the freaking I am so happy that yellow car is here. I've. Well, I looked at so many pictures of that car. That thing is sweet. Yeah, Paul looked in here, the owner. So he'll be back. Yeah, that stuff is sweet. I, I've i seen... I like that car so much. Yeah, John Kelly, he's been in here. I've talked to him for a little bit. There's a few of the engineers that are running. See, I won't even notice any of them. I don't know. Well, you'll get introduced. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's crazy. That's actually, one of the guys actually talked about your car. Did he? Yeah, so that we was walking around, he said, that thing was sweet. <laughs> Just seeing the engineering, what people have done. Yeah, that that would be really cool to design something and then see what other people, you know, like, change. That was what they were, it was the compliments there. They were the passion and seeing what people have done mm-hmm. and then what they, and then he mentioned he brought yours up. I was like, that's steve He says, that was with no bumper on it and you could see everything. And I said, he says, it's just the, what, the concepts, the prototype, the stuff they're doing. And I said, and I said he did that with no garage. Pop-up awesome. garage. <laughs> and I said, he'll be walking around with shirts. That's garage house. Yeah, I had to pump out some shirts for yeah, this so weekend so I could <laughs> so I could uh, rock them. Because yeah. I don't know a lot of the people by name. Everyone walks up to me, they know me, but I don't know. <laughs> but, no, no they, your car has already has been talked about. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, so it's, a, and it's not even close. It doesn't matter. It's yeah, I never, yeah. I still, I still really... I was so happy to see that my car made the front cover. That was so cool. Oh, yeah. I bought 11 copies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jim Holman came up and I was, he said, Yeah. I says, Look, this is that Steve O. I says, I tried to make sure he, I wanted to make sure he was down here. I says, He needs to be here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, but I says, it was a little touch and go, but I made damn sure he got to me. <laughs> in some form between me and Devin. I said, I think we figured that out. Yeah, well, it worked out because uh, somebody... Like he got to a tranny. Yeah, Devin, yeah. That was, that was, we had a pretty good time with that. It was interesting. Oh, good. I'm glad he was able to help you out. I wish I could have helped you out with that get right, but I didn't have anything else. Yeah. Yeah, I it. wouldn't have had the time. Plus, then I would have had to change out motor mount, like there or trans mounts. I mean, if I have the thing with that, the goofy Isuzu that I have, I have everything. To put that in your car. I got everything. All the mounts, the brackets, everything. Yeah. It's like going, why do I have this? <laughs> yeah, the the weaker trans. Yeah, but yeah. that that Getrag, it's a low mileage Getrag that I've bought four years ago for a guy to do on his car and he kind of disappeared and ended up in jail yeah like the don't like the big thing is i'm wanting to do the um just get the stuff so i can do the f23 mm-hmm. so i need shift cables and all that stuff so i was looking at doing the jet rig as well just because that's a viable option and there's yep. more five speeds than four speeds i'd imagine so Hard to say. Nah, I kind of like half and half. Well, you're here. Car runs good. Yeah, made it. You're here. That's the main thing. I was getting mad. I was like behind one of the car. I was behind this truck pulling the trailer, and like he kept driving off the road, chucking rocks at me. And I'm like, God dang it, guy. The further I got into Illinois, the crappier the roads got. Oh really? Yeah. And that really sucks on cut springs in the front. I cried a little every time I hit some of those really bad potholes. The bridges are where it's really bad. Because, like, it's sunk down and then the bridge is raised. That hurt. What are you talking about? Why am I a bit... Why does that always come up? Every five years, you're a bad influence. Thanks, but why? <laughs> well, our conversation was... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I've got my own It's original, and... I like that. Put the Pontiac racing on the speakers. That's a nice touch. <laughs> Have you ever seen the manual for a Fiero Indy car? I don't think so. So nice that it's not blue on the black interior. Yeah. Holy crap, I just realized like this thing is all painted matching color. I know what plans are. Yeah. I'll get to those later. I've never been a big fan on the fake AM line. It's the next thing on the lift. Honey, it's between the posts on the lift. 
Well, it's not up. I said, it's, good. Hmm. it's closer than it was before. Yes. I said, well, the only reason... Well, I feel like I saw this car, because I remember the GT. It says V8 on the side. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a V8. Hey. I like these. Even with the embosed Pegasus, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm just going to stand there blind to blind it. Damn, that's cool. Embosed flat top raising. Ew, that's fucking sweet. I need to do that with my garage and shit. He's doing a fucking real nice job with this car. It's Chris, right? I know I've talked to you a couple times. Is it? Is it you have the um, the duel, right? Yeah. Can you pop it that good? I want to see that. I've never seen him in person. I'm not sure why it's closed. It wasn't really good. But whatever. <laughs> Someone had to get the effect. That looks awesome with that embosed VTR on the side. Oh, wow. I love that. Yeah, that looks real good. It's nice that it's the wider rocker, so we got a lot more surface area. You can see it a lot better. Yeah, that looks sweet. Turned out very good. I just, uh, I just picked it up on Thursday last week, and it was the rush was to get it done for this. Yeah, I was surprised. I didn't know I saw it like earlier, and I was like, dang, he did something to it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. I've always liked your car because it's all white. Yeah. White's got a special place. <laughs> so the, the paint job I had done to it was bright white from the Viper, or the Dodge collection. <laughs> I really like the color, but the paint job itself didn't last for me. Oh, it was pretty crummy. Did you have shop do it or something? Yeah. And so looking at repainting it, but I'm, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so we thought, well, let's play around with the vinyl this time. Let's kind of see what happens. It turned out sick. Yeah. So they wrapped the white then, too? Yeah, it's all vinyl wrapped. Oh, wow. That's uh, some metallic -y stuff. You got some pretty good fitment there. Yep. It's got a spacer in the back. The front does not. It's uh, lower, the Eibach lowering spring kit, and in the front we've got Rodney Dickman's one-inch lowering ball joints. So Is it a two-inch or a one-inch lowering? I'm pretty sure it's one-inch plus the lowering springs. The back... Oh, are these the 18s? Yeah. With the Eibach kit, the back was actually lower than the front. <laughs> yeah. It looked really stupid, so we did the extra drop in the front of the bolt holes. That's one 
I gotta Perfect. figure out. Yeah. I'm on cut springs in the front. Yep. Got the two coils out. I've, I've done that five or six times in the cars. Just hurts my feelings hitting some potholes yeah. on the way here. It's not bad though. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, my car's the, the, a go kart anyhow, so. Sure, right. The thing I like about that is you get to get it exactly where you want to do it. You cut them. Yeah, you can get pretty precise. Yeah. Except for you got to put it all together, let it sit. Yeah, right. <laughs> got to keep coming back. Uh -huh. But you get, you get good at it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> once you've touched it once, it's usually not that hard anyhow. Right. So these messages go back to Oh yeah, I'm sure you're real busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just figured I'd stop in, say hi. I posted a bunch of pictures of all the stuff for sale on the Facebook groups, and so now people who aren't here are asking. We got a few items that. I saw you were bringing back the. Available. Saw you were bringing back the um, stealth stands. Yep. We had five sets done in time for the show, and the plan is to do a run of 100 total, 100 sets. I bet they all sell real quick. Yeah, so the five we brought on. <clears throat> yeah, I know I wanted them really bad, but I don't have a deck lid anymore, so <laughs> and it defeats the purpose. <laughs> oh, wait, you don't have a deck lid. Do you have a rude bumper? Nope, not no more. Big turbo stick up with ass yeah, in your car? that's me. That's, uh, that's so <laughs> cool, I love it. Yeah, and garage is on YouTube. Uh huh. What's so, that? The car's kind of gone through its things. This is like that, the yellow car is pretty close to my goals, yeah. except I want to keep the Fiero um, cockpit, yeah. but do two being on the front and rear. Okay. But got to start somewhere. So, did all that with a Harbor Freight welder and a grinder <laughs> out of a pop up garage. So. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I've always followed your car because I really like your car. Thank you. Because I, I really wanted the Fiero screws. Like, this is kind of what I wanted if I didn't go like. Yeah, the yeah. crazy route I'm going. Right, right. Like these are the rockers I want. Like yep. this is basically a spinning image of what I wanted. Yeah. No, this is my ninth Fiero. And Do you still uh, own no, I've only one? one at a time. I'd I'd get one and I'd try stuff and the car would have some undesirable traits. One of them the frame was a little crooked so I could never get the body panels to line up. One of them was pretty rusty. One of them uh had a, a, a turbo kit installed and it just never ran right. One of them had a T-top and the engine and transmission was junk, so that got parted. One of them was a four-cylinder car that was blown up. I rebuilt it as a project and then gave it to a new owner because I didn't want a four-cylinder. And I kept like trying to find a deal and getting a cheap one. And uh, you ended up with a whole bunch of money into a car that was cheap. So I started looking for a low mile 88, and we found this one in Orlando. Flew to Orlando, picked it up for 6,500 bucks, and drove it back to northern Minnesota. No, no hiccups. Jeez. It was like 30 hours on the road. And uh, me and a buddy did it so we would take turns driving. And at one point we got to Nashville and there were no hotels for 100 miles. So we just went to a truck stop and slept in the car. <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> but uh, by the, before I got home, with all of my messing around with Fierros over the last 15 years, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. These scoops, that deck lid vent, these rocker panels, these wheels. So how much do you like... Uh getting crapped on for those scoops. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> because it's so stupid. It doesn't matter. The yeah. car, with the engine it has, be lucky to have like over 180 horsepower. It's high compression, built, ported. Big oh, hand. it's actual built motor yeah, too? Yeah. It's forged and the whole deal. I spent like 5,500 bucks on a 3.4 oh, liter Jesus. build. So, but, but it still doesn't matter. Yeah. Because whatever aerodynamic effect that has, the car's never going 140 miles an hour. You yeah. know? It's stupid. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, who cares? You might be right, technically, but no one cares. It's yeah, a moot it looks, point. It looks, they look, they right, look sweet. Exactly. Yeah. It's an uh, appearance like, thing. This and I mean, you have either. a scoop on the deck lid, mm -hmm. so that's right. your heat extraction. Exactly. So as long as you replace it, it with yeah, something else. Exactly. 
I mean, even then, I think some of it escapes through the bottom, yeah, too. Totally. I mean, yep. But then, you know, nobody... I've nobody, probably completely screwed my aerodynamics. Right, right, yeah, you're, you're, you're done. Because <laughs> I know I blew up my trans, like, three weeks ago, raising yeah. it, and then uh, it uh, ended up uh, replacing it, and then an axle seal was re leaking, and, like, like I haven't had ran a bumper, so it's, like, splattered all up the <laughs> tail lights and stuff. And uh, I was like, yeah, that probably means that my uh, arrow is not good. Right. But it's Nobody a, ever complains about the scoops on the side, but doesn't that create an unnatural pocket of air inside there too? I feel, yeah. Yeah. but I feel like you're giving fresh air for cooling your brakes. Yeah, sure. But even then, it has to be like ducted and well, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like it doesn't go to the brakes. Yeah, it just goes through. A, yeah, like but nobody cares about that. Everybody's just got a hard on about bitching about the over the roof. Oh well, yeah, that's because it's you're replacing a yeah, vent right, right. with something that's supposed to be forcing air in yep. there. Still. So I, I love it because yeah. it's, it's dumb. People yeah. are so people like make up imaginary things to be mad yeah. about. Yeah, I always try to. I don't ever try to act like a professional when it comes right. to any of this stuff. It's like, does it look cool? Yes. Then that's all you need to know. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. Does it, does it actually? Hurt Ooh, that's anything? cool. Yeah. I like all your little touches. Thank you. <laughs> It's always my favorite thing to find in the car yeah. is when I look at them. Yeah. That was no big deal. I uh, measured the original center caps, and then I found a 3D sticker company, and I said, can you make me 12 of these? Oh, they're like 3D? Yeah. Well, they just touch them here. It's pink fingernail. I don't, when I say 3D, I don't mean like the letters are raised, yeah, it's but not. it's got like that epoxy gel coat on top. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's just like a... Doesn't look like a cheap sticker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, definitely, definitely cool, man. I have one back here too, but with the new intake manifold, it's not there anymore. So. Yeah. yeah, I've always been a big fan. I wanna, I gotta get a TIG welder, and I plan to make one of those. Yeah. But because I, I got like a 3400. Okay. So. So, the way it, we used to make these, you know, in a production assembly, and. We used the stock fear throttle bodies. We took one of them and ground out the IAC and filled it in. We took the other one and we ground out the TPS and filled it in. So one had TPS, one had IAC. Works great. But then we also had to manufacture the, um, that thing. Like the thing that connects your throttle yeah. blades or whatever. Yeah. Um, you guys leaving or what? What do you call it, John? The thing that goes between the throttle bodies. I've said the word like six times. Yeah, it'd be like that. The. Oh, this? Yeah. The. Not throttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? Well, I mean, sort of. The, the linkage between the throttle bodies. And the trick was having it adjustable. Oh. Because you don't want them necessarily to be opening at exactly the same rate. Um, for tuning purposes, you can kind of tweak it and, and fine tune it. So, like all that modification, modifying the throttle bodies, creating the linkage between them, um, it was a lot of work. That was a big part of the whole project. So, what we decided to do instead does that look like a Fiero TPS? It's not. Mm -hmm. These are Chrysler throttle bodies from, I think it's a Stratus. <laughs> that came with two throttle bodies from the factory. Roughly the same size. Never as the so instead of remaking the wheel, yeah. we just adopted that system to the Fiero. What size is the uh, openings on those? Like the... They're the same as the Fiero. Are they? Yeah. This, we use the same couplers for, for <laughs> both of them. So it was perfect. <laughs> Where's out? Yeah. And it... it, it, it uh, cut down a lot of the fabrication time. It wasn't a whole lot of work to adapt the throttle linkage to it either, the cable. So it was good. And then if you get close and you can actually see, and it's got the spring mechanism, with, um, it's got the, uh, here we go, the adjustment right here. So it's just a set screw and you can choose when this one opens, how soon it opens this one, and how far it opens this one. 
so you can really mess around with that. And get that's pretty good. Of it done and that's a that's an OEM part. <laughs> we were making them. It's rough. Yeah, that really <laughs> saves down on time. Did you have to mess with the width or anything? Um, what exactly is the paint? I I don't I don't know if we did or not. This is a it's vinyl. Oh, it is vinyl wrap. Yeah, it's a vinyl wrap. Oh, cool. Pretty wild. Looks yeah. good. Thank you. I wasn't around when that was done, so I don't know if it had to be shrunk. I would imagine. No big deal. I was curious. But I mean, it would just be a matter of cutting it in the solid section <laughs> rather than smoothing it. Like that'd be a pretty simple operation. But we used a lower or middle intake manifold from the Fiero, ground down about a quarter inch of it at the top of the ports, and then created a new flange to sit on top of that just to lower it all. And then each plan is one, two, three, four pieces of metal. And we got to the point we used one flat stock sheet of aluminum and one 90 or 180 degree mandrel bent pipe <laughs> in the three and a half inch tubing size. And drew on it and cut it out and mocked it up and because otherwise you'd have to do that bend in multiple pieces and roll it all together. So it worked out pretty good. Now the guy who was responsible for that creation is a wizard. And he's real life magic. There's a lot of those out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I might as well keep on walking. Sounds good, sir. Good to meet you. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see you around. Oh, yeah. I'll be here all weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll be out there. <laughs> right, I need to look back at this car. Oh, this must be a catch can. I think this is the poor strands. But I wouldn't know. It's either the Porsche or the whatever that is, that the Tornado or something like that. <laughs> Completely custom hub. <laughs> Got four inch. I was looking at doing those. Crazy uses really tiny. Hmm. Trying to study the the tubing. This is like pretty close to my goals. This thing is crazy. Yeah, black. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah. Where you going, Jimmy? All right. I know I've been doing a lot of talking or whatever. I literally like got here not too long ago, so. Got to go through here and look through all your hate mail here. Throw them in. Price of admission? Huh? Worth, worth the price, price of admission? Uh, for sure. Definitely. I want it. I've, I've seen that car online so much, and uh, oh, yeah. so glad to see that thing in person. Yeah, that's cool. Well, look at here. Yeah. I give that. <laughs> I'm not sure what's in that yellow car. I wish the guy was here so I could talk to him. Yeah, I do have a Garage's Facebook page. Damn, look at these meats. Some hoosers.
Those in the back here. Oh, 3,800. That's a clean ass 3,800. Yeah, I really want all oh, those. Yeah, those are two part. Yeah, those are kind of cool. I like three. I want, I want a three piece wheel. Any other cars that anybody wants to see in here? Oh, I know, Blind Eye, you'll like this one over right here. In case you didn't see it earlier, there's a red one right here. Got some T tops on there. It's a manual. And it's an LS. So, yeah. I don't know which trans that is. It must be like the F40. I had to guess it's an F40. I guess I could just look in here. It just says five on there. But who's to say that they didn't change it? Oh, and there's one with an uh, aftermarket dash that was telling me. Look at that paint scheme. That's not the 80s. I don't know what it is. So one of these... Oh, here it is. The red car here. It has uh, the, the prototype dash in it. That's a, such a cool dash dash. Those that didn't see it, here's the two plus two. Turn on the flash. Look at all that leg room. So much leg room. Like you could maybe fit your ankles in there. Some ET looking seats. There is 60 miles on there. That's crazy. There's a distributor in that yellow car. You can go back and look. Oh, there we go. There's all the information we need to know. Six hundred and forty five horsepower. Holy shit. Zero to a hundred in less than six seconds. Two hundred and ten miles per hour. Holy shit. Horsepower to weight ratio three point six. Does it say how much this thing actually weighs? Look at that thing. Uh, Sunday, uh, we have a week if we have really good socks. Oh, yeah, it's Porsche axles. It's a, a four speed. It's crazy. Freaking crazy. Alright. Next step here, guys. We'll get some Lego theorems. Alright. Try and got the flash on. Let's see. How are we doing on battery? 
22%. Awesome, almost dead. Probably do another stream tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. I have video scheduled almost a month out right now, so any of the, any of this event won't be out for a month. Maybe. I might uh do like two weeks of um video Monday through Friday. Just to try and get caught back up again. We'll see. I don't really know if I'm going to have very much more for content, so we'll see. I know uh, Paul's been saying that he wants to do his uh, LS. <coughs> He's going to LS swap the um, Cadillac. So, we can go look at this mirror. This mirror over here is pretty sweet. The interior on it was pretty fucking cool. This is the early day, so there'll be even more here tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day to show. Yeah, Paul wants to LS swap his Cadillac CTS. I think we're gonna do a, a big single turbo on it as well. I think he wants to build it as a drag car. See whether it happens or not, but that's kind of the plan. Uh, the show's in Pura, Illinois. P-E-O-R-I-A, I think. Probably misspelling it, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. It's the uh, 35th anniversary. Yeah, there you go, Derek knows. I've seen some of these cars before. A lot of these I haven't. It's crazy meeting people you talk to all the time. Here's that Predator I was talking about earlier. This one's pretty cool, I've sat in it before. Look at these fucking break. Good God. That's a chop top notchy. I don't remember how much is out of it. Holy shit, look at these wheels. And then they hid me over here, way in the corner. You got me way out here in the corner.
but uh, yeah. Coming up on an hour, my phone's gonna die. 17%. So we'll put it into here. So anyway, maybe I can try and film a little bit of some cars today. So. Not enough white ones. Usually red's the common color. Yellow's a rare color, and there's multiple of those. Yellow, blue, those are the rarer colors. Granted, it doesn't matter which ones are stock, but. Nah, I wanted to rock no rear bumper. Gotta be a cool kid. Gotta be a cool kid. Alright, guys, I'm out. I'll try and do another live stream tomorrow night or tomorrow during the show.